Okay, so now we're on to problem C. And what is special about problem C? Well, we have a factor in the bottom that we can't factor any further. Does that matter? Not at all. So here we're going to just go, I'll, I'll give myself a little space, and we'll say this is the same as, now we need an x squared, That's we've got plenty of terms down here to give us our x squared, right? So this is going to be the same as a over x plus b over x squared plus 1. Now let's look, let's give a quick thinking here. We have the x squared term, the x and the, and the x and the 0, so we have three coefficients. Here there's only two coefficients, so we're going to have to add in here plus cx, right? Because we need three, three variables when we go to make our solution. And so now we're going to cross multiply, and this then becomes a times x squared plus 1 plus b plus cx times x all over x times x squared plus 1. So now we can just create our three, three equations. So we have the first of all the x squared. So let's expand this. So this gives us then ax squared plus a plus bx plus cx squared. And we want that to equal to x squared minus x plus 5. So we can take the x squared terms. So we have a, we got that one, plus c, got that one, equals 1, got that one. The x terms, b equals minus 1. And then a equals 5. So now, is there a solution here where this is true? b is minus 1, a is 5. The c is 1 minus a, which is going to be 1 minus 5, is minus 4. So now we've said that this then, this integral becomes the integral of a is 5, 5 over x plus the integral of bx plus c, cx, right? So now, here again, we can just, well, uh, let's not skip any steps. Just It's always the algebra that kills you anyway. B, b plus cx, b is minus 1, so minus 1, c is minus 4, x over x squared plus 1. So we have these two integrals. This one, obviously, 5 over x is 5 ln x. We're done with that. This one here, we minus 1 minus 4x over x squared plus 1. Well, this is the same as saying we just take the numerator and take each term over the denominator independently. This is the same as integral of minus 1 over x squared plus 1 plus the integral of minus 4x over x squared plus 1. In this case, we can say this is then going to be minus in inverse tangent of x, right? You have to memorize that one, the inverse trig. And then for this one, u equals x squared plus 1, du equals 2x dx. Here's our dx. So we just have a simple substitution. Okay, so. Hopefully, that, hopefully this is all making sense and I'm not talking and writing here in too obscure of a fashion. <clears throat> but as always, if you have questions, send them to solve at midnighttutor.com.